What's up guys, welcome back to another HD commentary. This is Loadout with Let's Play Game Monday number 6. Awesome. Oh my god, this game is so good. So good. No, no, but seriously, I, um, <laughs> looking at Loadout, it's a free-to-play game, just got off the beta, and I like it a lot. It's funny to play, it has a nice art style, it runs perfectly smooth on my computer, and I think well on all of your computers, so check it out, guys. Anyways, as you are looking at this gameplay, I'm going to be talking about this game and reviewing it. And we're going to be starting at my thoughts about free-to-play, because many games right now have been released uh, in on a free-to-play status. And, you know, back in the days, nobody did free-to-play. It was always, you buy the game and you play it, and that's how it went. But nowadays, that doesn't seem to work anymore, because there are more games around, people don't have all that money to spend, and necessarily not for all those new games because they don't know what they're looking at or what it actually is. They will prefer to spend their money on the triple A games and all the small games wouldn't get any money. So what they decided to do is go for a free to play game. Now free to play is uh, is something that will lure players to your game because if you don't have the money um, and you want to play games, it's obviously really nice to have a game that is free, right? Now, how do they actually make money with the free-to-play game, you may ask? No, it's, it's really simple, you know, if you look at a game like League of Legends or... Uh, let's, let's look at another free-to-play game, um, RuneScape. I don't know if you guys play the game, it's a uh, MMORPG, also free-to-play, Tibia also, but you could always buy something with real money, right? There's always something like a status, a member status, or a uh, an item you can buy, stuff like that. There's always something you can buy in those games. League of Legends, you have these skins that make it possible for you to look different in the game uh, than other players, and that makes you special and makes you want to buy them, and it will give you new effects and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's nice, and therefore people are actually buying it, and that's how they make the money now. I've seen something about World of Tanks lately, and that's also a free-to-play game, and they have a huge player base. Like, League of Legends had 36 million players, I think, and World of Tanks is 28 million players. So that's also really a lot. And they get around... Well, they make a lot of money, but that's only because, like... Let's say, uh, I think they said something like 20% of every player buy something and the other 80% doesn't buy anything they're just playing the game and enjoying it but the other 20% is actually buying stuff and if you look at the base at the player base you know if you have 28 million players and you look at 20% of that that's a lot of players buying stuff and even though those other 80% are not buying anything um, it doesn't matter because you're already making a lot of money from the other ones so it's not necessary to ask money from them, and thus it will make your game popular. Now, let's go over to, uh, <clears throat> let's keep going with this game actually, because I got a little bit off topic there, but that's it about free-to-play, and that's why I like it that they actually went free-to-play. Um, so, I picked up this game, and it's fun right off the bat. You start the game, and you go crazy, you don't have to be good at first-person shooters, or third-person shooter, I must say, and it's just, you just wreck people with it. I don't know, it's just fun. Um, it's a fast-paced third-person shooter and it's not realistic at all. Like, uh, <laughs> people are exploding, you see legs running around without bodies. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of gore and blood around, so if you don't like that, you should probably stay away from this video. But <laughs> if you don't mind that, then this game is definitely something for you. And that's also what I liked about it, it's just so crazy and not realistic and just, you don't, you don't really have to care playing this game, it's not really competitive or anything. Well, you, I, I guess you can play competitive, but it's not necessarily needed, you can just run around and shoot people, and that's all fine, you know. It's not a stressful game, so it's cool. Now, what is Loadout actually about? What is the USP, the unique selling point of this game, the, the unique feature that it has? Well, it's mainly about the loadout, obviously. Uh, you can uh, customize your items really nicely. Uh, you have a bunch 
of items you can choose from and with your loadout you're able to go into battle and try it out and if you have a good loadout you're gonna be wrecking people and if you don't then you probably suck but it's all depending on your loadout how you do it and yeah how you prefer to build your loadout so that's the thing they do it's awesome and there are a couple of things you can customize in this game we have outfits you can buy that's the same thing as League of Legends actually because you have to buy those with real money or you can get achievements or something and that's also a way to get some of those outfits but mainly it's based around getting uh, the outfits with real money and you know they need something like that to to live uh, to build the game so that's good uh, then we're gonna be looking at weapons well like I said the weapons are extremely customizable you can make a uh, assault rifle let's, let's look at that and then you can choose between uh, rapid fire um, bolt fire triple burst double burst something like that you have a lot of possibility you can choose from then you can choose the the kind of uh, magazine you want to use you can choose the bullets you want to use you <laughs> You can use the sights uh, to change the sights of your weapons. Uh, you can change the fire rate, I think, something with recoil. You can change the element of your bullets. Like, there is a lot you can change in this game when it comes to weapons. And therefore, I think there are like a ton of weapon possibilities in this game, which is really nice. And then you have your loadout, which you can select and customize. So that's the weapon you choose. You can choose... Uh, I can choose between two weapons. I think if you get a higher level in this game, you can choose more weapons. But in the beginning, you can only have two weapons active on your loadout. And it doesn't matter what kind of weapons there are. So you can choose a rocket launcher and a machine gun, or you can choose a sniper and a shotgun. Whatever you want to do, it's all fine and it's all possible. So that's cool. And yeah, then if you have your loadout, you go into the game with that loadout, with the customizable guns, your outfit, everything, and then you just play the game and fuck people up. Now, there are different game modes in this game. Uh, the game mode I'm playing right here is Jackhammer. That's a capture the, flag, uh, capture the Flag game mode in which you capture a hammer. Actually, it's not a flag. You, you <laughs> capture a hammer right here. And with the hammer, you are able to one-hit your enemies. <laughs> now, that is something unique, because most games, when you have the flag, you're extremely vulnerable and definitely not strong, because everybody will be knowing where you are and everybody will be hunting you with the flag. And it's the same in this game, but you have the ability to one-hit everybody who comes near you. So what I do in this game, I just run around with this hammer and slap people in the face whenever they come in close and <laughs> you win that's how overpowered the, w the hammer is so they have to stay away and shoot you uh, you also have blitz which is kind of demolition kind of thing so you go to one point and capture it and you have kill confirmed which is you kill someone and then you pick up his tag uh, and that gives you score and if you get enough of that score then you win the game now I, I ended this game with 22 kills and four deaths with a KD of 5.5 which is Pretty nice for like the third game I played. So that was it for today's episode of Let's Play Game Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more, come and check me out on the next episode of Let's Play Game Monday. Peace.